What's going on guys? Kirk from Kirk's Cottage. I want to show you this project I'm working on. And we'll just park right here. Just rode over on the e-moped. <laughs> Batteries are a little dead, but let me show you this project I'm working on here. This is a really good well here. So the idea is to get the water from over on this lot here over to the cottage that's down there, about 650 feet away. So it's a big project. Let's go over to the well, show you guys how I automated the pump. Now this well here is about a 50 foot well. It's in really good soil as you can see. It's just sandy soil, so the water is crystal clear. We'll take a look at the pump here. So now it's automated now. If you watch my other video, you'll see the pump showing how it works and how I put it together. So now I'm showing how I've automated it with the well troll and then with the relay that was with this motor inside of a lawn mower. I've also added a blower fan to cool the motor because I've noticed when the motor's running with no fan, it's going to overheat. I tried using a computer fan, wasn't powerful enough. The blower fan here seems to, to work really well and keep the motor cool. The motor could run continuous with this blower fan and it won't burn out. So what is it all made from? It's made from the jet pump I converted to belt drive. You can look at my other video and you can see how I did that. There's a DIY on that. And then we have ourselves a 24 volt motor from a lawn works lawn mower and the relay that came with the mower. So this is a blower fan inside of a car. This was out of a sprint or whatever. So let's fire this thing up. Now the advantage of this system here is you don't need any inverters. It can be run right off some batteries like I have over here. So these can be hooked up to solar. So if I connect this up, let's look. Now you can see that it just automatically shut off. Now we'll try to listen for the pump. As you can hear, the pump's come on. And the pump's gone off. Pretty cool. Some good pressure too. Let's hook this up. Does draw a little bit of current. But I've hooked up a blower fan. It's all just in the test phase here. It's just a blower fan from a car. So I'm pumping air into the motor here. I feel the air coming out of these holes. So I had the pump on for maybe 45 minutes straight and the motor never overheated. I can feel the heat blowing out of here. What I've done here, I'm using the original pressure switch uh, for the pump on the 110 pump. And I've just connected it so that it's working as a switch. So basically this is just a switch. We're just using these two terminals here. When they're pushed, when they're pulled up, they're disconnected. So basically these two are working as a switch. And here's the relay that we're switching. So we're switching the low voltage contacts on the relay here. Now we have a fully automated system. So it'll be going down into the well. It'll be hooked up properly. So this is all just um, the test phase. So in here, as you can see, there's a battery bank and charge controllers. Let's see what do we got going on here. Charging. So that bank is charging. Now you're probably wondering why would you run a water line so far? Well, unfortunately, the water on the other side of the property, wherever a well is drilled, there's a lot of rock. So the water is very rusty and, and a lot of iron content in the water. But this well here is really crystal clean. Let's ride the hose, give you an idea how long this is.
All right, so let's come over here. There is our hose right here. So this, this hose here, came all the way from over there. <laughs> the water gets all the way down to here and there actually is water flow and um, it works. All right, so that was the water pump project, an automated water pump conversion, and thank you for watching.